Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to eat Isaiah 53 to 58, Proverbs 29 and Psalm 34. Let's get started. Who has believed that he what is what he has heard from us and who, to whom has the arm of the Lord been with you? For he grew up before him like a young plant, like a root out of dry ground. He had been full of majesty that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, and a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one who from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, and smitten by God, and afflicted. And he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquity. And put him with the clad chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. And like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of his soul. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that's led to his Lord, and like a sheep that is before a chair is his son. And so that he opened not his mouth, I pressed him in judgment, he was taken away. And as for his generation, he can say, and he was cut off out of the land of the living, shaking all the transgression of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked hand, with the rich man in his death. Though uh, he had done no violence, and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him. He is put him to grief, and in his soul make an offering for guilt. He shall see his offspring, he shall prolong the days. The Lord shall prosper in his hand. Now the anguish of the soul, he shall see and be satisfied. By his own shall the righteous one, and my servant make many to be a kind of righteous. And shall bear the iniquities. Therefore I then will divide him a portion with men, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he poured out his soul to death, and it was now lit with the transgressors. Yet he bore the suit of men, and made intercession for the transgressors. Sing the barren one who did not bear, break forth into singing and cry out. You who have not been in labor, for the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her who was married to the desolate one. And last the place of your tent, and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched out. Do not hold back, lengthen your cords, and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread abroad to the right and to the left, and your offering will possess the nation, and will be for the desolate cities. Be not, for you will not be ashamed, be not confounded, for you will not be discouraged. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and the reproach of your widowhood, you will remember no more. For your maker is your husband, the Lord has his name, and the Holy One is Israel is your redeemer, the God of the whole earth he is called. And the Lord has called you like a wife to serve and grieve in spirit, like a wife of youth when she is cast on sister of God. For a brief moment I desert you, and with great compassion I will gather you, and with long anger for a moment I hear my face from you, but with everlasting love I will have compassion on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. This is like the days of now to me, as I saw that the waters and the ocean no more go over the earth. So I have sworn that I will not be angry with you, and will not rebuke you. Your mouth has made the part, and the hills be around me. And my step is love shall not depart from me, and by my covenant of peace shall not be on me. So the Lord, who has compassion on you, who will look on the storm trust and not comfort him. You know, I will set your stones in edge, and lay your foundations in sapphires. And I will make your pinnacles a gay, your gates of carbuncles, and all your wall precious stones. And your children shall be taught by them, and they shall be the peace of their children. And your righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression. They shall not fear him from terror, for it shall not come near you. If any stirs up strife, it is not from me. Whoever stirs up strife with you shall fall because of you. Behold, I have created the smith, he blows the fire of cars, and produces a weapon for his purpose. I have also created the ravager to destroy no weapon that is fashioned against all you who shall su- against you shall succeed. And you shall fear every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the vindication from me to curse the Lord. Come, everyone who says, come to the wars for him, he who has mo- no money. Come buy and eat, come buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not right, and your labor for that which is not satisfied? Listen diligently to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourself in rich food, and find your air and come to me. He has got your soul made up, and I'll make with you an everlasting covenant. My steps is show love for David, who hold I made him a witness to the people, a leader and commander for the people. You know, shall call a nation that you do not know. And a nation that you did not know shall run to you. It is the Lord your God, and the Holy One of Israel, for he is glorified. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. No, the wicked forsake his way, and the right, unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will not only pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seeds to the soul and bread to the eve, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth, and it shall not return to me empty, and it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and it shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. And then you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace, and mountains in the hills before you shall break forth and sing, and all the trees of the field shall cut their hair, and instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, and instead of the bread that shall come up the metal, and you shall make a name for the Lord, and every lost and sound that shall not be cut off. Thus says the Lord, keep justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come, and my righteousness will be with you. And thus is the man who does this, and the son of the man.
who holds a flask who keeps the Sabbath not profaning and keeps his hair from doing any Let not the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, And the Lord shall separate me from you. And let not the enemy say, Behold, I am a judge. Nor the flask is a Lord to the enemy to keep my Sabbath, because who choose the things that place me in and hold fast my covenant. I will give him my house and within my walls a monument and a name, better than sons and daughters. I will give him an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, and to minister to him to love the name of the Lord, and to be his servant, everyone who keeps the Sabbath and does not profane, and who and holds fast my covenant. These I will bring to my holy land, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. On my house shall be Order house of prayer for all people to look. He guys the outcast of Israel to flesh. I will gather yet others to emphasize those already gathered. All you beasts of the field come to the back. All you beasts in the forest, just watch me have blind. They are all without note. They are all silent dogs. They cannot bark, dreaming, lying down, loving to slumber. Their dogs have a mighty appetite. Appetite. They have. They have never enough. Yeah, they are shepherds who have no understanding. They will turn to their own way. Uh, come each to his own game, one and all. Come, they say, let's get wine, and let's put ourselves the stronger. And tomorrow will be like this day, great beyond measure. If a righteous man perishes, and no one lays it hard, the fat men are taken away, while no one understands. For the righteous man is taken away from calamity. He enters into peace. They rest in their beds, who walk in their uprightness. That you draw near sons of the sources, asking of the adult and the loose one, who are are you mocking? I guess to him do you open your mouth wide and stick out your tongue. Are you not children of transgression, the offspring of the sea? You who bear with loss among the oaks, under every green tree, who slaughter your children in the fires, and the flesh of the Lord. Among the spirit stones of the fire is your portion. They, they are your lost children, and you have poured out a drink offer. You have brought a great offer, and shall I have for these things, sort of high and lofty men, and you said your bed. And there you went up to offer sacrifice, behind the door and the door bed. You have set up your memorial for it, certainly. You have uncovered your bed, you have gone up to it, you have made it wise. You have made a covenant for yourself with them, and you have loved their bed. You have looked on nakedness, you journeyed to the king with oil and multiplied their perfume. You sent your envoys for art and sent down, even down to show. Even to show, you are weary with the length of your way, and you did not say, He is hopeless. You find me life for your strength, and so you will not fail. Whom did you dread and fear so that you lie, and do not remember me? Do not lay it to heart. Have I not held my peace even for a long time? And do not fear me. I will declare your righteousness in your deeds, but they will not profit you. When you cry out, let your collection of idols deliver you. The wind will carry them all off. Her breath will take them away, but he who takes refuge in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain. And it shall be safe. Build up, build up, prepare the way, remove every obstruction from my people's way. And thus says the one who is high and lifted up, who inhabits the eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place, and I sit with him who is of the contrary and the lowly spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly, and to revive the heart of the contrary. But I will not contend forever, nor will I always be angry, for the spirit would grow faint before and the breath of life that I mean, it was the iniquity of his own dusk, and I was angry. I struck him, I hid my face and was angry. But he went on backsliding in the way of his own heart. I see his ways, but I'll heal. I will lead him and restore comfort to him to his mercy. Bring the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to the Father and to the Lord, says the Lord, and all the healing. The wicked are life that tossed in sea, for it cannot be quiet. And as the waters toss up mire and death, there is no peace, says my God for the wicked. Cry aloud, do not hold back, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Declare to them, my people, their transgression, to the house of Jacob, their sin. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my way, as if they were a nation that do right. And do not forsake the judgment of their God. They ask of me judgment. Hmm. Ask of me in righteous judgment. They delight to join me near to God. Uh, why have we fought and you see it not? Why have we humbled ourselves and you taken it not to? Yeah, in the day of your fast, and your fast, you seek your own pleasure. You are an oppressor of your works. So hold you fast only to quarrel and to fight. And to hear with the wicked face, fasting like yours this day, who will not make a voice to be heard on her. It's such the fast that I choose a day for the person to humble himself. It's to bow down his head like a reed and spread sackcloth and ashes unto him. We will call this a fast and a day acceptable to the Lord. Is this, is not this the fast that I choose to lose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the stress of the yoke, and to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share bread with hunger and to bring the homeless poor into your hand? When you see the naked to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh, then shall your light break forth like the dawn, and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your record, and you shall call on the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke when you miss the pony of your fingers, seeking wickedness, if you pour yourself out for the hunger and satisfy the desire of the flock, and then shall your light rise in the darkness, and your gloom be as the noonday. And the Lord will guide you continually, and satisfy your desires, God twice and make you praise you. And you shall be like a water garden, like a swim of wood, whose waters do not fail, and your ancient ruin shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundation of many nations. <clears throat> Generations, you shall be called the repair of the reed. There is still a tree's dwelling. 
to the Lord, and he returned back to your foot from the Sabbath, from your pleasure on my holy day, and called the Sabbath their delight, and the holy day of the Lord honorable. And if you honor it, not going out of my soul, seeking your own pleasure, and talking idly, then you shall take delight in the Lord, and I will make you right on the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Proverbs 29. He was often reproved, yet stiff as his neck will suddenly be broken beyond healing. When the righteous increase, the people rejoice. When the wicked will, the people grow. He loves wisdom, he's the father of God, but they knew about the Jews going to his well. I just did him build up the land. May he who attracts gifts to the devil. Man who flatters his neighbor, spreads it in the air for his feet. And he will manage instead in transgression, but a righteous man stinks of rejoice. The righteous man knows the rights of the poor. The wicked man does not understand such an oath. Offers to the city of one, and the wise shall not be wrong. And if the wise man has an argument with the fool, the fool will be righteous and laugh, and there is no quiet blood. Does demon hate one who is blind? And take a life of the upright. A bull gives full vent to a spirit, but a wise man quietly holds him back. If the Lord listens to falsehood, all the bishops will be wicked. The poor man and the oppressor meet together. The Lord gives life to the eyes of both. And if a king faithfully judges the poor, then his throne will be established forever. The rod of a proof gives wisdom. And a child left to himself and shame to his mouth. Then the wicked increase, transgression increase, but the righteous will look upon their devil. This man is on, he will give you mercy, he will give delight to your heart. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people pass over shame. My blessings he keeps the law. And the mere words of seven is not just one, for though he understands, he will not respond. Do you see a man who is hasty in his words? There is more hope for a fool than for him. And whoever pampers his servant from childhood <clears throat> will in the end find him in his hair. His hair. And a man of rest is of strife. And a man given to ankles must change, which a man's pride will keep bringing life. But he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. The partner of a thief hates his own life. He who is cursed will disclose nothing. If you have a man lays a snake, but whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. May he seek the face of the Lord, but it is from the Lord that a man gets justice. And not just man is an abomination to the righteous, but one whose way is straight is an abomination to the wicked. Psalm 34. Unless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth, my soul shall boast in the Lord. Now let, let the humble hear and be glad, and magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord, and he has me, and deliver me from all my fears. Those who live to him are ready. Their faces shall never be ashamed of this call men cry, and the Lord have. They say from out of all his troubles, the angel of the Lord and cast around those who fear him, and deliver them. For taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed. <laughs> Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him, and fear the Lord, you who say, for those who fear him have no luck. The young lions suffer one and hunger, but those who seek the Lord back no good thing. Tell my children, listen to me, I'll teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many death, that he may seek? Keep your tongue from evil and the others from speaking to see. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue. Ask the Lord toward the righteous, and it is toward their cry. Ask the Lord is against those who do evil. Out of the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their trouble. The Lord is near to the broken heart and saves the crushed in the spirit. Yeah, the afflictions of the righteous, and the Lord delivers them out of them all. He is his bride, not one of them is broken. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants, and none of those who take a in him will be condemned. Now thus done, as you now do the Lord's prayer, may my hands our Father in heaven, and there be your name, your kingdom come, your be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. The gills of steps is you receive given and debtors. It's not into temptation, but to the rest from the evil one. Give us the kingdom and the power and the glory for Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.